This is Nikki Duncan Smith, AKA Kershaw St. Johnson for allhiphop.com. And I'm here right now with Jocelyn and Matt to talk about their new project, Revolutions is a docu-series. It's really our evolution. And when you think about the product, the product, the project, the production, we get to see evolution in a very gentle, honest, authentic, and respectful way. Jocelyn, you are a filmmaker. How how was it working on a docu-series with someone as explosive, controversial sometimes? As, as 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 a Matt Barnes. And then how did you kind of look at this project and make him so endearing? Because I, I, I saw the screener and Matt, you're so endearing. <laughs> that's all, that's all, that's all Jocelyn right there. You know, I think um, it's a great question. And I don't know that I necessarily have the answer. I think the camera doesn't lie. And I think that depending on what you frame is what you're going to see. So my goal as a filmmaker is to tell stories from an authentic lens, an honest lens, an unbiased lens. And I really wanted Matt's story to be told in a way that I feel like a lot of his story has been left untold and unseen. And so shining a light on the parts of his story that were left in the dark is kind of what motivated this revolution. So Matt, because you're a public private person, which is kind of weird to say, like right. you, you've been in the public and you're always like, like cameras are always on you, but there's a lot of things that people don't know about you. How, and I think that that's been deliberate. How, how difficult was it for you to open up for them, to, the cameras to follow, follow you in this way versus like a reality show or something? Um, I think this was, well, first of all, we made a mistake of doing a reality show, um, which I'm not proud of, uh, but it was a learning experience, but I just think. Um, well, I know, but this is different than that. That's, right, what, I'm that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. We made that mistake. But to me, this is different because I think there was a misconception of who I was as a person, because one, you saw me on a, a crazy reality show. Two, uh, you would see me in the NBA and then on any given night, you could see me cuss a ref out, slap somebody, get kicked out, get into a skirmish. And I felt like, obviously, that's kind of all certain people got in me. So they would draw a conclusion of, oh, this dude is crazy. This dude is this. He's that. He's this. And, you know, sometimes, even though it wasn't true, we were at a point in media back then in the late, you know, the early 2010s where athletes didn't get a chance to say like no it really didn't happen like that or this that that's a complete lie like we what they painted is what they saw and the fact that that's kind of my era um I was kind of labeled as a villain a bad guy a thug you name it that you know that's who I am so I think full circle in, in my ability to stay somewhat relevant you know post-career and, and and having this media career now like what better way to tell the people that kind of still follow me, whether they love me or hate me, why I am the way I am. You know, this is, you get a chance to see my, because I people think because like I'm light skinned and I have good hair, like, oh, he must be soft or he must be this, he must be that. Like, no, I really came up in it. You know what I mean? I've seen shootouts, people get stabbed, people die, uh, you know, abuse, drugs, moving from house to house, food stamps. Um, I came up in that lifestyle. So I think that it kind of, when you see some of the byproduct of my childhood, which I'm, you know, seeking counseling currently for, when you see kind of the byproduct of my childhood uh, played out on a reality show or, um, or my NBA career, it kind of doesn't give you a full perspective of the why and really the who. So um, I think I say all that to say, like, you know, now at 42, turning on, you know, about to be 43 in a few months, you know, Joss and I started this project five years ago, and it's just been a culmination of figuring out exactly what it is. Like, we're not giving you a ton of stuff, but we're still showing you a large part of my life that, you know, for the most part of my life has been untold. Um, and that's kind of just been the, I guess, the goal with it, you know, like, I, I am okay, because, you know, you said, in public and private there's really not too much private they're just like you said in this in this project there's a lot of this stuff's been documented it's just been chose you know outlets have chose not to show it and you know joss and i came up with the idea of like you know 
I'm the opening one and we came up with this idea, but I'm sure there's a lot of other athletes that have similar stories and paths and, and, and narrative that possibly could be painted about them or reasons why they wouldn't open up that I think our fans and, and, and people in general would like to see. Do you think America's obsession with the trauma, the trauma and crises that black men, specifically light-skinned black men go through is part of the the reason why you've been painted as a vin- villain and sometimes it's like the cameras seek you so i mean that's why this project is so great because yeah. it doesn't seek to villainize you but no so do yeah, you I think mean, that's when your uh, history with, with the media it just, it just kind of depends i, I kind of feel like you know a reputation is earned whether good or bad and there was stuff i had to do and, and stuff that came up in my life that was real life sit- situation you know like people die for stuff that's came up in my life and i just might have got it in a skirmish for it you know, so I just think that um, there's a there there's a there's a rhyme and a reason, and 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 I think that um, no matter what they painted me, I think I'm here to show that it doesn't have to stick. Like I have the ability now through not only this project but my podcast and and the various networks I work for to show you who Matt Barnes really is, not the person that they wanted you to know, or uh, or or want you know made you think I was but no this is actually who I am and I'm still very imperfect and I'm learning from my mistakes and you know I wouldn't change someone asked me earlier like would I change any of my mistakes absolutely not because I feel like I've learned valuable lessons I mean I've won a lot of my life but to me I feel like you you learn from losing or learn from making mistakes so um you know again always trying to evolve and 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 I think this is a you know a perfect project for someone like me I'm glad you said evolve because let's change some of our language let's not say some of our mistakes, let's say some of our missteps, right? Maybe our missteps were, you know, because that way you're still in line with your ultimate yeah. journey. You just might be stepped to the left and step to the right. Yeah, I mean, there's no, you know, yeah. for, for me, no, there's, right, no, right or wrong, there's, no, there's no rule book, you know, there's no rule book on how to really be a parent in this day and age. There's no rule book on how to make a marriage work. There's no rule book how to act when you're a professional athlete. Like all these things that are thrown at me, are on the fly. And again, sometimes I handle them with grace. Sometimes I handle them terribly. Uh, But again, you learn. So I think obviously that's the goal. So yeah, misstep, mistake. I'm good with that too. I love this. Um, Jocelyn, he said that he's in in therapy counseling, right? Do you think that this project has been therapeutic for Matt? Just watching him. He said five years. So you've gotten to know him pretty well. Have you seen the growth? I think that any project that gives us an opportunity to look at parts of our lives that we didn't get a chance to reflect on is hopefully going to be a form of therapy. And I always feel like if I'm healing while I'm making something, then people who are going to watch it um, are going to heal while they see it. And I think whatever your intention is and your, your energy is behind any project is, is first and foremost, what other people will receive. So my prayer and my hope for a revolution is that audiences can receive the same kind of healing that um, that hopefully I did as a filmmaker in making revolution and, and hopefully Matt and others will too um, along the way. So, yeah. This is awesome. And so this this interview so far has been very heavy and very, very serious. And that's not really who I am. I okay. like it to be a little popping. So I'm gonna ask both of you this question. It's a very, very serious question even though I'm trying to make it lighter, but it's serious. So I'm going to judge you based off of your answers, okay? <laughs> okay. Who's your top five Ooh. MCs, dead Ooh. or alive? Ooh. And I don't mean just one generation, all generations, the millions of rappers out there. Who Josh, are, even if they're unknown, your top five. Josh, you go first. Oh, that's hard. Top five rappers, dead or alive? Um, I mean, I grew up in Oakland and I'm from the Bay Area, so... I have to say Tupac because he was probably the greatest inspiration in my filmmaking journey. Um, So Tupac, um, I think it's really hard for me to choose, but I think Jay-Z, Drake, um, if I can choose a group, I would choose Wu-Tang, that's four. I think Nas is probably five. Mm. I like that you cheated. But I'm gonna let you go because you're Jocelyn. <laughs> Jocelyn uh, wrote Lions. We're gonna let you go with the Wu Tang thing. She just threw nine people in her four spot. I'll just say Riza. I'll say Riza. But you know, it's hard to single out because groups are great because 
they're an ensemble. So it's like, if you extract somebody from a group and you say they're the best MC ever, like without their counterpart, it's hard to say like that. It's like ingredients, you know, together they, they are great. But yeah, RZA is dope too, so. All right, I'm gonna give mine a different spin. Cause I always know people be trying to go crazy when I give top fives or anything like that. So I'm going to Tupac is the most inspirational person in my life. I mean, he's tatted on me. His music is the theme music to my life. Uh, you know, we've had an opportunity to work with his estate and his foundation on, on projects and, and licensed music. So Tupac is number one. And I, so I put him and Biggie, they're different. Like I can't even put them in my, they're it for me. So my top five after that, I would say Jay-Z. I would say Lil Wayne. I would say Drake. I would say Snoop. And then this last one is just a personal one to me because I was, you know, a, a huge fan of him and, and I actually got a chance to befriend him and and, and, and kick it with dude, uh, Nipsey. Someone I really enjoy um listening to so those are my kind of personal to me it's more about who i like to listen to because obviously there's a lot of other greats and and nas and krs1 and and everyone from the east coast but i was raised on california music you know what i mean so it, it, it was really tough for like i didn't hear jay-z till i got to college and came to la like i was on snoop pop uh 40 short like that was you know that that was my my, my you know, all right my, so what's my your introduction. favorite quick song what's your favorite you did quick song both of you because i know you y'all probably people i like let me look at the name of it too because obviously i like his when he's talking this gangster shit but i also like cool uh quick and i forgot the name but i was literally just listening to it so hold on you can edit but I want to make sure I get the name of that song. Yeah, you you got to get this right, Mr. Cali. Because out of Jocelyn, you have to agree with me. Out of, like out of a lot of these basketball players, he's the most hip hop ish basketballer that we might know, right? I mean, yeah, he just moves yeah. like a rapper. I agree, and um, yeah, I, I like yeah. you know I, I get a chance to you know Snoop is 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 like my brother you know we do foundation work together and to be able to just come into LA and kind of Ice Cube is the homie you know he's in this you know what I mean so to be able to DJ Quick is going to DJ and all the smoke event that I'm interviewing Magic Johnson at like these people that I grew up to idolizing um you know are are, are friends now you know what I mean so it's just such a great honor but I'm saying all to say, where the guy is that goddamn song at? I will say, Nikki, if, if since not brought up Karis one, I'll never forget. I'm my if anybody wants to dig through the crates of like old hip hop docs, my first doc feature in 2006 was Sounds of Spirit with Karis one, Common, CeeLo, Andre 2000, Saul Williams, like a whole bunch of rappers, East Coast, West Coast, and Karis like kicked off the film and ended the film, and he was like, hip hop is not just something we are it's, it's it's something we we are like it's it's our dna like he he went on and on like a four-hour interview my camera battery died i'll just never forget it because it was like one of the most epic interviews ever with krs1 so and he gets he gets very forgotten in in conversations about greatest mcs but i'm glad matt brought him up because Karis one is a legend we love Karis uh, one over here he um helped me and my husband get married really oh wow yeah. Wow. That's, okay. dope. That's amazing. Mine is uh my favorite quick song is uh, is different. It's We Still Party. That's a popping joint. I got something to say though. We had a whole little party. I, I love it. Him. Like I said, I, I mean, I'm lucky enough. I mean, he's going to come DJ event where I get a chance to interview. I want to come to that event. I want to come to an event where DJ Quick is DJing and you're honoring your boy, Matt Johnson. Johnson. That just sounds so amazing. Like December 15th, if you're in LA, let me know. You can pull up. 